Uh, no, it would be my answer. Um, in Sinclair Ferguson's fairly recent book on sanctification, I, I believe there is a, an appendix on this very issue, which I would, I would certainly recommend. Um, I, I, think, I think that Jesus um, put his imprimatur on the principle of one day in seven. I, I think that we still believe in the operating um, force of Ten Commandments and not Nine Commandments. Because the implication is that there is, if there is no Sabbath at all, uh, and, and there's just a utilitarian need to, to meet, but it doesn't really matter when or, or, or where or how, um, then, then strictly speaking, the conclusion is that we really only have nine commandments, not ten. And there's, there's nothing in the New Testament that even remotely suggests that. And the, the pattern of the New Testament church was that they, they met on the first day of the week. Uh, to commemorate the resurrection. So the day has changed, but the, but the principle of one in seven has not. Why do you think it is that, uh, broadly speaking, generally in the church, there's um, a less esteem for a Sabbath or the Lord's Day? But they essentially have that view that you said, we just need to meet together once a week because it's probably prudent and helpful. Yes, and, and largely I suspect that, that, uh, that uh, that's antinomianism, that, that, that's... It's inconvenient. We, we, we have come to view the weekend. And, and so from about 4 o'clock on Friday, we're, we're, we're in free fall to the weekend. And, and Sunday has become a family day, uh, crazily, I mean, um, a shopping day or, or, or whatever. And, and um, it, it's, and it, it, you know, the answer to that is not swinging 180 degrees in the direction of legalism, um, the answer to that is to see the, the, the gospel nature of, of the Lord's day. And um, to me, to have a day where I'm free from all of the stuff that occupies me, and, and it's, it's different for me, I'm a minister, so I'm, a, I'm involved in gospel stuff every day of the week. But, but for most people, to have a day that's clear of their, their working week is an immense blessing because work and even leisure can so legalistically bind you that, that you become a slave to pleasure or you become a slave to work um, rather than see um, the Lord's Day as freeing one up to to worship, to, to be with God's people.